The ice rink transforms into a This should be fun. This should be a lot of fun. Biggest and strongest players throw their weight around. Been loving the hockey videos lately. Oh my goodness gracious. The world of the NHL is not just about scoring. Here, is that a legal move? Meets fury. Is that actually a legal move? Ah. Oh. While some players use their speed, agility, and quickness to their advantage, others use their strength, size, and power. Ooh. Side note, have you guys watched that hockey movie called, uh, is it Goon or Guna? Starring that, that uh, dude from American Pie. That was a good movie. And it was all about a specific player whose sole intention was to be the enforcer in the team so he wasn't the most skillful or anything wasn't the best um, mover around the rink but he was the enforcer and he protected the best player and that was such a, a cool movie to watch i think it's called goon or guna i don't know but check it out that was a great movie but i think he goes through the center core of the body dive with us into the nhl's most brutal open ice hits and Let's witness the go, power of the game. baby. Strap in for a wild ride through the hardest hits in hockey history. Uh huh. During the 2003 Stanley Cup playoffs, Carolina and the Islanders turned up the heat. And as you might expect, things getting. Netchass was skating fast, puck in sight, right next to the Islanders' bench. <laughs> Suddenly, out of nowhere, Pajot appeared and boom. <laughs> Bro, into the bench, into the opposition player's bench. That is crazy. Netchass found himself taking an unplanned visit to the Islanders' bench. So this was during a playoff game. see it coming. Netchass got up, and out of frustration, <laughs> he threw a punch at a seated Islander as if saying, this is my spot. Despite this drama, Netchass hopped back and there was no punishment from the on-ice official. Bro, imagine being a bumped so hard that you fall into the opposition bench is dugout and then you take your frustration out on some innocent player just sitting there, not the actual player who hits you in the first place. That is hilarious. Heat wasn't confined to that matchup alone. In a game seven between the New York Rangers and New Jersey Devils, Truba gave us a moment to remember. As Meyer skated in, dodging sticks and showing off some slick moves, he found uh -oh. himself slightly off balance. Truba saw a chance. With a hit that could make the earth shake, Bro. he smashed into Meyer. How many concussions are there in hockey? Like a trampoline. Meyer dropped like a sack of potatoes. Damn. And the devils were screaming for a five on three. That is advantage. crazy. This but sport is brutal, guys. Stunned by that seismic hit because no penalty was called. That is Truba's brutal. So intense, you'd think Meyer's ancestors were taking notes. <laughs> if you thought that was intense, the Minnesota Wild and Dallas Stars had something more jaw-dropping in store on that Stanley Cup opening night. Stanley Cup, baby. Picture this: time slows down. Hardest trophy to win in sports, apparently. Breath. Pavelski flicks a backhand towards the net, eyes on the puck, unaware of the freight train coming his way. That is crazy, bro. Can someone tell me when is that a foul or penalty? Pavelski sent flying. It just looks so brutal. Meeting the cold, unforgiving ice. An eerie hush falls over the crowd. Pavelski's motionless for a moment before later being helped off for medical attention. He doesn't know what's happening. He, off because no headshot <laughs> he doesn't involved, know where he is. So no major penalty. But everyone watching, they'd swear Dumba's hit echoed through hockey history. Meanwhile, over in another corner of the NHL universe, Dmitry Orlov showed Matt Duchesne the meaning of a one-way fight. While the Avalanche forward thought he could breeze past the Capitals defenseman, Orlov had other plans. <laughs> With a drop of the shoulder and a bit of spring in his step, that is crazy. Was suddenly auditioning for the next Superman film. This was no mere body check. It was a collision heard around the. Dude, league. that is a literal somersault. He nearly landed back on his skates. People in the arena could feel the impact, and fans that is crazy. 
That is crazy. Became a highlight of the season, showcasing Orlov's raw power and flawless timing. <laughs> <laughs> Amidst all these high octane plays, Makar decided to sprinkle in his own brand of magic. In the middle of a heated match, he saw McCann and thought, why not give him a little hello? No After ways. After McCann's almost goal got shut down by goalie Georgiev, even though the puck was chilling somewhere else, Makar delivered a thumping hit. That's just adding insult to injury. Imagine being free on goal, you don't score, and then as you're turning around, you could absolutely demolish from the opposing player. That is a cra that's crazy. That's killing two birds with one stone. To make McCann feel his presence. The refs called it interference. First thinking it was so fierce, it deserved a five minute penalty. But then they wow. had a change of heart. But the video replay said, hold on a minute. Though the refs took it down a notch, the NHL had a chit chat with star player Kale McCarr. And star player Kale McCarr got benched for game five as a penalty. Some say his hit was so hard, the puck itself felt sympathy. And just when you thought the thrills were over, oh yeah, baby. Kuba showed us again why he's one of the biggest hitters in the game. During a face-off against the Calgary Flames, Kadri of the Flames probably thought he was skating at Madison Square Garden. Not Truba's slam zone. And boom. Truba's hit was so huge, it sent Kadri's helmet into another That is crazy, zone. bro. His helmet just flew off. He doesn't know where he is at the moment. Dube, Kadri's buddy, tried to step in, probably thinking he could take on Truba. The two tangoed for a bit, but Truba was like, hold my hockey stick. Truba threw a few punches to give Dube a taste of his fists. It ended with Dubé on the floor, probably wishing he just stayed in bed that day. <laughs> At least he's a good teammate. He tried to protect his teammate, but the guy in blue is just too strong. Way too strong. Barely five minutes into the third period, Braden Point's world went black. Out of nowhere, Morgan Riley, like a missile, slammed him into the board. Ah, oh, that is crazy, bro. Braden lay there. Dazed, trying to catch his breath. Dazed and confused. That wasn't the end. Matthews this sport is Santos, rough, bro. Two of NHL's elite decided to have a mini dance off, exchanging punches like MMA fighters. And this incident created a weird record of the first fight between two 60 goal scorers. Wow. So, normally, as far as I know, as a casual to the sport, this normally takes place between you know, enforcer type players. But these guys are both 60 goal scorers, so they are like star, star goal scorers for their team, point scorers for their team, and then they got involved in, in, in the tussle. So that's quite interesting. I doubt you see that all too often. Now, rewinding the clock to 2012, the rink witnessed a seismic moment. <laughs> Rafi Torres of the Coyotes decided to take flight. His target, the unsuspecting Marion Hosa from the Blackhawks. Well, again, Hossa, uh oh. It looks like he left yeah, it looked like he jumped on the play. Let Bro, this shit's crashed onto the ice. Time seemed to freeze. Every eye was glued to him. This is more brutal than NFL. And still, let's be honest. You could almost hear heart skip beats as he was stretched to the hospital. Meanwhile, the NHL didn't go easy on Torres. They slapped him with a whopping 25 game suspension. In hockey years, that's an eternity. And for the kicker, for every that's like a third of the season. $20,000 slipped away from his pocket. No wonder he looked like he dropped his last puck. Stepping into a season of heated grudges, the Blackhawks clashed with the Blues, and Seabrook took center stage. He slammed into Blues captain David Backus with a force of a runaway train, sending him face first into dreamland right there on Bro, the ice. The hit was. I can't help but cringe when I see these guys get hit in the head so hard. It's so easy to get a concussion. So, man, I just hope once these guys have all retired. That they don't have any, you know, CTE that you know, that stays with them, or they haven't garnered early signs of CTE. It's very, very worrying. It was so brutal, it probably made the puck wince. His Blues mates were not happy, and they flew into action, standing up for their down leader. 
But here's the kicker. When Bacchus tried to rise, he looked more like a toddler learning to walk. Legs wobbly, eyes glazed, trying to stand. Bro, but gravity it's like was a baby giraffe. That day. Can't stand upright. It was so fierce. The officials tossed him a game misconduct penalty and a three game vacation. Damn. As for Bacchus, Bit of a break. that hit ended his game night and gave him a headache he wouldn't forget. Fast forwarding to the 2021 playoffs, Ryan Reeves of the Vegas Golden Knights showcased his reputation as a muscle man. In a showdown with Detroit, Reeves made the arena shake when he flattened Philip Hirana. Oh, the guy was just shit. gliding, minding his own business when Reeves came out of nowhere. It was like watching a truck hit a scooter. Hironic's face got a close-up of Reeves' shoulder, and suddenly, it looked like he was auditioning for a horror movie. No whistle from the ref, and no penalty was called out. Can you imagine the fright that must take place when you're not even really concentrating on the opposition player, and as you look, you just get absolutely flatlined. It's oftentimes the hits you do not see that hurt the most. And he scratched their heads, wondering, was it Hironic's fault for being unaware, or did Reeves take a free shot? All in all, that hit was big. That's, that, that's brutal. The 2023 playoffs. It was Leafs defender Jake McCabe's turn to rewrite the rules. While Esamont had his eyes on the offensive zone, McCabe gave him a sudden detour. That hit was so fierce, it probably shifted the Earth's axis a tiny bit. Damn, man. Probably Look how long he's on the floor for. An alternate universe managed to hobble to the bench. Word is, even the concussion spotter felt that one from the sidelines. While the play was rougher than a bear hug with actual bears, no penalty was called. Maybe the referees were too shocked, or perhaps they were too worried about McCabe's next move. As for Patrick Laine, he looked so dazed, you'd think he saw his entire <laughs> hockey life flash before his eyes. Hey man, I don't blame him. Lastly, I wouldn't have gotten up from that. Zenith ...in a fiery clash between the Hurricanes and Panthers. Bennett, a force of nature on skates, seized an opportunity. Slavin, momentarily focused on the puck, was blindsided by Bennett's Ooh. freight train-like charge. A collision of titans unfolded as Bennett's shoulder connected, propelling the towering Slavin off his feet. The He's struggling to get up. Breath as the game screeched to a halt. Slavin took a little detour into the net, looking like he'd just tried ice dancing for the first time. Despite his best efforts, he needed help off the rink and into the locker room. Bennett's tackle was so intense, it probably registered on the Richter scale. Now, bro, that it will that is really, really, really intense. I cannot deny it. I cannot deny it. Listen, you have to respect hockey. You have to respect the players, the things they go through, the things they have to deal with. Not only are they remarkably skillful to be able to skate on the ice at high speeds, change direction, pivot, whilst controlling the hockey puck and maneuvering the puck to their advantage, but they also have to avoid these hits. There's so many elements to the sport that make it so amazing and it makes it so box office. Let's be honest, hockey must be one of the greatest shows on earth and I'm glad that I am finally getting into it. But folks, if you enjoyed that video, Please remember to like and subscribe, definitely helps the channel. I really do hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. I'm for sure going to do more hockey in the future. But until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.